First in the Tank is a product to help kids sleep more soundly. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sharks. I'm Katie, and this is my mom, Lou. We're from Atlanta, Georgia, and we're here seeking $400,000 in exchange for 20% of our company, Slumber Pod. Traveling with your kiddos can be crazy stressful. Whether you're in a hotel room or crashing at grandma's, it can be a nightmare to share a room with a little one. Many babies need total darkness to sleep well. Parents often resort to crazy stuff like Building dangerous homemade forts. <laughs> what is that mother doing? Those what? chopper cables? <laughs> or if things really start to get crazy, taping aluminum foil to the windows. Parents don't deserve <laughs> to be sleep deprived <laughs> and miserable <laughs> on trips. So we decided to kick those sleepless nights to the curb and create our own easy solution. Slumber Pod! Yay! <laughs> it's a portable privacy pod that gives your baby its own dark and private place to sleep. It's a tent. Once your Slumber Pod is assembled, simply slide it over your travel crib and just like that, <laughs> sleep is moments away. <laughs> Designed with your baby's safety in mind, it's made of breathable oh, fabric. <laughs> It weighs. <laughs> it's not having it. <laughs> Slumber pot is made of breathable fabric. It weighs less than six pounds. And best of all, it fits in carry-on luggage. Our customers call our product a lifesaver, a game changer, and a marriage saver. I don't know. <laughs> Sharks, don't sleep on this amazing opportunity. Oh. So, who's ready to join us in creating more Nighty Nights? <laughs> Next time, use a fake Let baby. Let child <laughs> out. <laughs> oh. All right, Oscar. It's OK. Good night, oh, Oscar. actually sleeps in this every night at home. He's just having a little stage anxiety. Thank so, you. Bye. bye. Bye, Oscar. The slumber prison costs how much? What do you sell it for? <laughs> slumber prison. We sell for $149.99, and the landed cost is $56. Lou, how did you come up with the idea of a tent for children? So when I was home for the Christmas holidays when my oldest daughter was a year and a half, we had to stay in the same room with her. That room didn't have great window treatment, so some light was coming mm. through, and she kept waking up in the night, seeing us across the room, and not understanding that she needed to stay in the bed and that it wasn't time to wake up. I think we got two or three hours of sleep a night, two nights in a row, to the point where we went home a day early. Like, sleep deprivation is a military torture tactic because it makes you miserable and crazy, Sword right? twins. Yeah, that's a good point also. <laughs> How long will it take you to put it back in a box? Breaking it down probably takes two minutes or less, and then putting in the bag another 30 seconds. Unless you have the pack and play, otherwise the child crawls out from under it. That's a great question, Barbara. So it also fits a co toddler cot inside, or you could make a pallet on the floor out of blankets. It's not designed to confine a child. It's designed to create a dark and private sleep environment. It looks really complicated. Their instructions sewn right into the bag is simple as setting up a camping tent. And you know, it may look a little bit um, cumbersome, Scary. but what you make up for that is in how small it gets. That's what allows it to fit and carry on luggage. Have you started selling them? How yes. much are your sales? We launched in August, and then this year we've done 556,000. That's wow. really good. What a surprise. How and why, why did it take off? Lou? Because um, moms are obsessed. They love to talk about things that work, and they love to put it on Instagram. No advertising. Um, we've done very limited advertising. So you guys have got to be just so profitable and just generating cash, printing money. We became profitable in February. Uh, we have no debt. What is your background? Tell us about you. I actually went back to college as a single mom at 39 Good years old. Good for you. And got my wow. uh, master's degree at 50. Um, and I've worked for Fortune 500 and small software companies. 
Um, so that's my background. How about you, Katie? And she's also a mom to six kids, and I'm the oldest oh of those gosh. kids. I'm in the automotive space currently, and I'm a mom to three. I have three-year-old twins. So I think about sometimes if I had given away a percentage of my business, would it have been right for me? Or was it better that I had to figure out everything and do it myself, which made me stronger, smarter, better, and not a one-person company anymore? I don't say this often, but I think you should continue to do what you're doing because I truly believe that I'm going to go out. Thank Obviously, you. we have mixed feelings about that response, <laughs> but thank you. I want to add to Lori's story, if I may, uh, because something happened to me that was a real lesson in my career. I was in a terrible real estate recession. I owed the whole world so much money. And as luck would have it, Merrill Lynch came and offered to buy my business. They offered me $250,000. But here's what happened. They changed their mind. And I thought the sky had fallen. And do you know, it was only five years later I sold my business for $66 million. To Lori's valid point, be careful when you sell your stock. But that being said, I want to take advantage of you. One shark is out. But Barbara may be interested in Lou and Katie's child's sleeping tent, Slumber Pod. Be careful when you sell your stock. But that being said, I want to take advantage of you. <laughs> That's the truth. She's nothing if not honest, right? So I'm going to offer you $400,000 for 25%. But I have one contingency. I don't want to wait forever to be paid back. Every time you sell something, you name the number. I just want some kind of a payment so that I know I'm getting paid back first. Get that money out. But I'll be a terrific partner. Well, Katie and, and Lou, I'm going to put some to pressure answer, on Barbara. Wait, and I need you to answer me. 25 percent. That's a savage offer and greedy, and I don't like that. That's not I just, greedy I at don't, all. I do not appreciate that kind of greed. I'm going to loan you $400,000 at 9 percent for three years. That will cover all your inventory costs. And I'm going to take 7 percent equity for that loan. You're getting a bidding war going here. Oh, well, there's just uh, greed and reason on, reasonableness. Barbara made you a really fair offer. I would have made a more aggressive offer. I'm out. Thank you. We have a Guys, Mark, I'm are a, you in? I'm going to share a story similar to Barbara's. When we had started Broadcast.com as AudioNet, and we were the first streaming company in the country, and Microsoft got into that business, and Microsoft invited us up, and we started talking about an offer. And to Barb's point, we thought we were right there for an offer that was going to be for $75 million. God, Didn't better get than that my offer. story. Didn't get that offer. But two years later, we sold for $5.7 billion. Because we didn't take that offer, I'm out. This is more than money. We're looking for someone to help us scale. Exactly. We're looking for those relationships. Well, once a shark you a give check, they up. want to help you. Of course they want you to be successful. Yeah. Barbara, would you do our original deal? Yeah, I would. Let's do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Come give me a hug. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we really wanted to squeeze you on the money, but you're too nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank what you. a nice job you did with her. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, ladies. ladies. Biggest sale ever done in pajamas. <laughs> We made a deal with Barbara! Yes! I mean, making a deal with Barbara, it's a dream come true. She is a female shark, which is what we were hoping for, and she just seems like she'll be an incredible partner. And to be able to grow our business together with my daughter is a dream come true.